Hello and welcome back to the Blender Basics video series. These videos are designed to accompany the chapters found in the Blender Basics tutorial book and not as a replacement. So if you don't have the book, head on over to www.cdschools.org slash Blender Basics to download a free copy. This video will focus on Chapter 5, Materials and Textures using the Cycles Render Engine. Now remember that this will be a very, very brief introdu introduction to Cycles. Um, there are a lot of people out on YouTube that have made some wonderful videos uh, dealing with various aspects of cycles so I would recommend doing YouTube search and looking for some of those videos as well plus in the blender basics manual uh, there are a lot of configurations that are in there that we will not go over so I would recommend looking at the chapter looking at various configurations to get various effects again this will just be a brief overview so let's get started we're starting out with the same scene we used in the last video where we have a cube a sphere a monkey head and a plane uh, that we use for basically the internal render engine uh, for this one, it's still the same scene, just no materials applied. I've erased the two initial lamps and added a plane up here that will be our emission lamp. So the first thing we're going to do is switch over to Bl Cycles Render from Blender Render. And I'm also going to go up here and split my viewport so I can have a node editor window along with my 3D window. So I'm going to change this top window type from 3D view to node editor. And this is where all the nodes are going to go as we work and create things. Uh, for my bottom viewport, I'm going to switch this over to a rendered view so that I can have a, a live uh, rendering of what's going on. Now, right now, everything doesn't look very good at all. So I'm going to use this viewport here. I'm going to select my plane that will be my emission lamp. Since we're in Cycles Render, I'm going to go into my Material Settings and hit New. In Cycles, you will never ever use the Texture Panel because all of that is handled through Materials. So the surface, what I need to do is change this from Diffuse to emission and that's all it takes to make a lamp and then we'll just change the strength of the lamp and make this much brighter so it really lights up my scene just like any other blender scene you can add as many lamps as you want to change the shape of them to make them look however you want to I'm gonna keyboard in a 20 and see what that looks like right now okay so that's not too bad of a start I think I'm gonna go even higher on that let's try a 30 that lights up our scene pretty well okay so I have one lamp in here, everything is starting out. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is pick the cube and all we did with the cube is we tried to uh, make it look like it had a texture on there. So we're gonna add a new cycles material. And for this one, if we want to do a glossiness and um, a texture on that, I'm gonna have to change this diffuse shader into a mix shader. So now that I have a mix shader on there, I now have two shaders showing up down here. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a diffuse shader for it. And you know, we've only used, looked at using diffuse shaders for color, but if I click on this little dot on the side, I can actually change this to an image texture rather than just using a straight color. Now it looks a little purple right now because I need to open a texture for it. So I'll go out into my textures library. I believe we were using a brick stone. Um, and I'm going to use the thumbnails and we're just going to put that basic brick on like I did the last time So looks like it's starting out with something. Okay, but we need to change a couple more things with this um, For default here uh, down here where it says vector default. Let's change that to generate it just like we did In the blender internal and there you go. It's mapping it on the top stretching it down the sides There's the flat representation just like we had in the internal engine we're going to change it to box and now we actually have a box okay so the brick is represented on all sides right now there are a lot of things that we can change in cycles to improve the quality again look at the blender basics chapter to, that talks about how to change the quality of our renders the next thing i'm going to do here on um, my secondary shader down here at the bottom is turn on glossy now it's very glossy to begin with because if I go back up here to my factor I think I need to change this down to something a bit smaller so it uses only 20% of the of the gloss as opposed to 50% of the gloss. I might even need to go a little lower on that. Let's go down to point 0.1 see what that looks like. Okay so it's getting a little bit better you know it's working out pretty well. Okay so let's look at something else here now so if I um 
wanted to make this ball in the middle look like a crystal ball. Okay, so we'll scroll back up to the top and hit new on this. All I'm going to do for my surface shader is I'm just going to pick glass. And glass takes care of a lot of different things for you. Again, there are more factors you can add to that to improve it. Uh, the monkey head. I will hit new on the monkey head. And I think I'm going to do a uh, mix on this one as well. Top shader will be our diffuse. Our color will be kind of a gold. And our bottom shader will be glossy. And there's a 50-50 glossiness on the monkey head. Our plane, I believe we put a stone texture on that. And again, I could work with a mix shader for this. I'm just actually going to keep it on diffuse, but click the little dot beside color. Change it to an image texture and pick my image this was in the wood textures view thumbnails I think that is the wood I used in the last one and I need to change it from where it says default for vector change it to generate it And that kind of gives us a good start for things. Now let's look at the node editor window. So here's what's going on with node editor. We've added a couple of different things in here. Um, and again, all of these can be changed. Different things can be added. Let's say I change my mind and the texture for the ground. I actually want it to be a mix rather than just diffuse by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this line here. And if you drag backwards, you can get rid of a line. So let's add underneath my nodes. I'm going to add shader, a mix shader. So there's my mix shader. So I'll change this so that I can connect to the top shader. And connect to surface. Okay, so we got our picture back. Okay, now what I want to do with the second one now is maybe I want to add a gloss. Now, as I've been working on this, things are updating over here in the materials panel as well. So we're going to add another shader, and we're just going to add a gloss shader to that. And I'll put that, like, right about here. And I'll connect up those shaders. Okay, now it's gotten pretty glossy, so I can take this factor and change it now. Let's go down to point one. Okay, so you can see how you can keep mixing nodes together for everything to get various effects. Um, you'll notice that the glass shader now is now actually flipping um, the factor. And there are more and more nodes that I can add to all of this. Um, and again, I recommend... Uh, taking a look at the chapter, I've put a lot of different node configurations in there just to give you various effects. Plus, there are some very, very good tutorials online uh, created by other people. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm just going to recommend that you try to look at a lot of those different things. And the longer this renders, it's filling in more and more factors and starting to look pretty good. So that was just a very, very basic introduction to cycles. Thanks for watching.